Hello, welcome back. Today I would like to share you how you can set up a clean look on iOS 14 and we are all excited about iOS 14 and here is the video how you can set up a clean look or minimal look on your iPhone on iOS 14 and you can see by my home screen here there is no application on my home screen so what you can see we have three widgets and also at the bottom on dock you have um, some of the application here for me, I decide to place um, some of my important application at dock, like phone, safari, message, and music. They are the app that I am using very often. On the top, you can find the big widget where you can see date and your battery percentage. And below that, you're gonna see the camera. And then you're gonna see the storage. You can see how much storage that you have been used. And if I swipe here like that, you're gonna see app library straight away. So I delete all the application from the home screen and, and move it to app library. And this is how you do it. You can move all of your application to your app library. And then in order to get the wallpaper background here, you can see there is no dock because I have already high with the wallpaper. So you can go back to Safari. And then in order to get the wallpaper, you can go to this link. You can find in my video description. And then we have two different choices. You have black and you have white. So which means you have dark mode and light mode. And for me, dark mode is my favorite. I can go to here. And for this wallpaper, it does support from um, the older device. Like I have here the iPhone SE from 2016. And it does support as well. And you can see the compatible device here. And then you can just scroll down. We have um, almost all black too. We have no dark black. This is the wallpaper that I have chosen. I can just open it and um, close the ad and then I can sell the wallpaper here by holding on the wallpaper and add to photo. And after that, you can just go back to your photo and I'm gonna go to my photo here. And here's the wallpaper that we have just saved. You can click on the share button and then scroll down and choose as a wallpaper. One more thing that you need to do, please turn off perspective zoom. You can click on this and now it is turned off. I can set it both for my lock screen and my home screen. And then you're going to see here the wallpaper is um, completely dark and you cannot find the dark because we have already hired using this wallpaper. And one more thing that I want to mention, if it doesn't work for you, make sure you go to wallpaper. And then make sure this one, this option is turned off. And one more thing. You can go to accessibility and then go to motion and make sure the use motion is turned off too and one more we have um, here display and text size you can go to here and make sure the use transparency is turned off and otherwise um, the wallpaper doesn't work so make sure you turn all of those options off and now let's talk about the widgets and here is the widget that um, i want to share with you too it is called color widgets now when you open on it, you're gonna find a lot, a ton of um, different widgets here. You can select um, your favorite one and I can just um, example this one. You can just click and set the widget. And as soon as you go back to your home screen, you're gonna see your widget is changed. And one more application that I have here, it is called Hard Disk, where it's gonna show the storage on your phone, like um, the free storage, the storage that you have been used. And one more, we have um, this one. It is a camera app. When you click on it, you can go to camera straight away. So it is a good way or a quick way to take a photo. And you can download this one. I also include the link in my video description too. For those of you that new to the widget, you can just add the widget by hold on that. Then click on the plus button on the top. Now you can add the widget that you want to add. For example, color widgets right here that we have on the home screen. And this is it for this video on how to give it a minimal look and a clean look on your iOS 14 on your device. And thanks for watching and then I will see you guys in the next one.